Hello and welcome to Brocky Mountain Movies. I'm your host, Rocky Mountain Brock, and today we talk about the Stanley Kubrick classic, The Shining. When I first saw this, I didn't fully get it. But then I rewatched it and I still didn't fully get it. Or at least, I got it a little more, but I still don't get why people consider this to be a horror staple. Which is kind of, which is sort of something nobody talks about. The fact that when it comes to Stanley Kubrick, you either consider his style a masterclass in suspense and horror, or it's just kind of boring. I think I fall into the category of it just being boring because I can divide this movie into several parts. For example, most of the movie is just kind of dull and bland. Like, you're supposed to show that the sh at the Overlook Hotel, the story's main setting, is supposed to be this scary, scary place that something's off, but I don't know, it just doesn't scare or really spent that sense of dread. And there's also the art that Stephen King doesn't like this movie. And you can easily tell why once you know the actual story. In the original story, there's this natural progression of the main character, Jack, who, and how he's slowly kind of losing his head. But in the movie, it doesn't show that. It sort of has his crazy come right out of nowhere. But in a sense, that's sort of when it starts getting good. Like, there are these scenes where he talks to the ghosts and they keep trying to liquor him up to their suggestions. That part is, it's honestly really good. Having him pour out his frustration with a presumably sympathetic ear that ultimately lead to him going crazy is a really good metaphor for alcoholism, in a sense. Which is something he's bad. Though I feel, much like Pet Cemetery, the whole movie is back-heavy. Like, it had a bunch of stuff and exposition, and then right at some point, it gets interesting. And I do believe the movie starts getting good when it goes... All work and no play makes Jack a dull boy. That's the that's when the movie starts getting good and really starts to work as a masterclass in horror. That that's when style actually works as a suspenseful because now there's an actual danger, and it just straight works because you like the characters and you see them get out and they're doing it in a very realistic way. So. Oh, final score for The Shining? Um, it varies. Until you get to the all work and no play scene, that most of the movie's a 4.2, except when he's drinking with the ghost, in which case it's an 8. But that last 30 minutes, it's a solid 9. So, again, I'm gonna leave this one up to you guys. If any of that sounded good to you, I'd go ahead and give it. But again, it's not for everybody. So... Use your best judgment. I'm Rocky Mountain Brock, and God bless.